and you guys aren't scared of a little chili, right? We go for the big boy. <laughs> Dangerously close to having to run to a bathroom, so. Smells good, huh? Definitely, here we go. Hey, Richie here. Uh, we're here at Pet Mart, known for its very spicy pet propel made by the famous Mark Weems. Let's go. Oh, wow. Ready for a good meal. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, guys, we bought our meals. I got the Pet Mart, very spicy. I got number four C, medium signature. I went with the less spicy and then I'm gonna give the spicy one a try. I barely recovered from my last spicy food challenge. I hope this one doesn't rail me too hard. These guys handled spice better than me, so I think it'll be another Liam show of me struggling <laughs> and sweating. Stick around. Hell the chili scene. I see a full ass chili right there looking very spicy. I would say maybe even dangerous. Looks like a lot of chili seeds poured classic basil. Looks very good. I'm excited. I'm getting strong garlic scents from this. The garlic, chili, and basil is like a, no pun intended, but a holy combination. It looks delicious. Smells good, but I can see a lot of seeds. It's gonna be a spicy one. Well, let's dig in. Got a good little perfect little bite here. Alright y'all, wish me luck. <laughs> There's a lot of seeds. Definitely in my mouth is tingling already. <laughs> I couldn't imagine eating all of it. Same sort of bite that Willie went for. As the Thai said, my pet might have learned. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. The garlic, the basil. As Will was saying, mm -hmm. definitely a tingle from the spice. You can already feel it flooding the face a little bit. Alright. <laughs> because I'm a man, and because I think people like to see me in pain, we go for the big boy. <laughs> like a good pudgro pao, and it's not like very saucy, it's kind of dry, but the flavor's all there, it's really good. The spice is like that classic Thai chili spice, and it's kind of killing me right now. Alright, I already had another bite, so Liam, me and Doug are going to join him on that. Buns it. It's good, but it's definitely like building. I'm on a roller coaster and I'm going up. The roller coaster is an accurate description. It definitely feels the heat builds over time. I really get it on the sides of my tongues. Yeah, it's kind of building now, it's subsiding, but I'm lucky. I have milk, coffee. I think that's definitely helping me fight the heat. But in the words of the great Mark Weems, oh, oh yeah. It's very good, but I think it could use a little bit of seasoning. And you guys aren't scared of a little chili, right? Yeah. This whole season. The more the merrier. Uh, All right, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I ate it. Me and you are turning next. Get a perfect spoonful. Shout out to Mark Means. Did you see that? Uh, hit us up. We'd love to make videos with you. Oh. Oh yeah, very tasty. That dog egg just like definitely helps a little bit with the spice, but it's just ramping up. Bite number two. Tuck in. A few chilies there. Not another big one. Some rice. A little dunk in the egg. Let's go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Has a bit of a kick in there. That's some good pack of powder. Oh yeah. Yeah. The people, the people want to see one more chili. Give me a minute. <laughs> Liam, the people want to see one more chili. No, I'm, I'm dangerously close to having to run to a bathroom, so... Alright, go for one more chili. Make the people happy. Cheers. Bottoms up. Chon. Chin chin. Slanche. Oh, starting to feel it. I will say, they're very juicy chilies, but they're also sweet, like obviously spicy. They're sweet as fuck, like really tasty chilies. Whoever you're sourcing from, Mark, good job. Oh yeah, just after eating that chili, feel that. Mm -hmm. 
It's definitely hitting. I gotta give it like an 8 out of 10. I had the 4 spicy. Definitely spicy. Destroying the back of my throat right now. But one thing I really like is that they put a lot of pepper on, which is good. Like it's actually very well seasoned. Holy fuck, that was spicy. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very good dish, well balanced. 8 out of 10 for me. Wow. Okay, my thoughts on uh, Pet Mar is that it is Pet Mar, but very good. I think eating it first thing of the day after a large coffee is probably not the best thing for your stomach or your mental health. If I'm ever in the neighborhood again, I'll probably eat it again. So, delicious but very spicy. Like, obviously, you're gonna pay much less for this on the street, but I think for overall flavor and experience, definitely worth a try. So, shout out to Mark Wiens, shout out to Pet Mark, and uh, come give it a try. I just hit the food right there. It's so good. It's not too much spicy. <laughs> I mean spicy, <laughs> but it's good. But it's so expensive. But how like this for me is to give like seven. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I had the very spicy. I mean, I was sharing with everyone. Everyone wanted to try. I would say if you are someone who loves spice, it's definitely a good one. The raw amount of chili seeds in there is probably worth it. So overall, I would give it a two thumbs up. Just like Liam, I would give it a ten out of ten. It's really good. The only other thing I have to say is, I do respect that he's keeping it OG with the stools, the shit's fire. There's nothing like sitting on a stool. Alright guys, we just finished... Oh. Alright guys, we just finished eating at Pet Mart. Pet Mart, delicious, I enjoyed it. A little more expensive than on the street, but how can you complain? He's a fucking celebrity, you know? He's a god. Shoutouts to Mark Weems. Come here if you're nearby. Try it out. Let us know if you think it's spicy. Hit those comments up and let us know what you want to see next. As always, pet map, pet alloy. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for more. We got content coming out the wazoo. Peace. What are you going to go do? <laughs> I drank a coffee and then ate the spiciest <laughs> pow, so I'm going to go liquidate my assets into a toilet. Peace.